Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today I'll be explaining how to solve a Xenocrypt um, for the Science Olympiad Event Code Busters. So just to start off, I would definitely recommend that um, a knowledge of Spanish at at least level two would be helpful as that is around when I was able to start comfortably solving Xenocrypt. Um, because that just allows me to know like what words exist and what is the most um, possible letter frequencies. So this is an example um, of a xenocrypt I got from the test. So I'll just go through it, explain my thought pro process so you guys can understand the best ways to get started on a xenocrypt. So looking at it, uh, the first thing that I like to do is figure out where um, the A is, because generally with words like la, um, the word right after la would also end with an a because they are both feminine. So right off the bat, I can see that this two-letter word ends with a, and this long word over here ends with an a. So I would guess that both um, that this is la, and then this would end um, in an a, meaning that they are both feminine. So I'll fill that out so that v is l and h is a. Okay, so I filled out all the H's as A and all the V's as L. So the next thing that I would generally look for is where E is. So two things about E is that E is always a really high frequency letter. And there are a large amount of um, two letter words in Spanish that start with E like S, N, L. Um, so if there are any, two, if there are multiple two letter words that start with the same letter, I would guess that that is E. So I can already see that there are two, um, there are multiple two letter words and majority of them start with A. So I would assume that this A is E, which would also make sense because these two words would become L and then we can figure out what this is. In a okay, so after figuring out all the E's, I can notice a couple of things. So first of all, this first two letter word here, because it starts with E, there are a couple of possibilities. It could um, only be either S or N. And because there's a comma here, meaning that this is um, an incomplete clause, it would probably start with N. So it's like N, La, something, something, this happens. So I'm going to guess that U is N. And another thing is that this three-letter word here that ends with E, um, I'm the most common three-letter word in Spanish that ends with E is que, like Q-U-E. And we can double check this by checking if there are any other Qs. And we can say that W has a frequency of two. And the other Q is right here, also followed by, um, again, the same letter S, meaning U. So then, which um, does check out that W would be Q. And because we are guessing that this would be K, the um, only six letter word that would make sense that would end with K is 4K. So now we can fill out this word as 4K, this word is K, and this word is N. So I'll fill out the rest of the letter uh, according to that. Okay, so now there are a couple more patterns that we can notice. Um, number one, this word here, almost finished. Um, the only letter that would make sense here to finish the word would be espera. So that would be become espera, that would become seca, sepa, which makes sense. Those are both um, valid words in Spanish. And um, right here, this two letter word ending with E, generally the only two letter words that end with e are se they and le it can't be le of course because we've already used up l so it's either se or they and in this context with la following right after it would make the most sense for this word to be they so we can fill out those two letters now okay so we're almost finished but there are a couple of big here um words here that we still need a couple letters for so for this this is why it's important to read the question um the xenocrypt is about the pixar film coco so we would assume that something in here is about coco so we can look at this word right here, the pattern MT, MT. Um, the only word that would make sense here, that would be like a double letter here, would be Coco, because the quote is about Coco. So once we fill that out, um, we can also notice that this would be just missing one letter. And again, um, Coco is a movie. And if you know Spanish and movie, um, in Spanish, movie is película, so we can um, fill P in as I, and I'll fill in all the C's. Okay, now following along the um, same track about looking at this in the movie perspective, we can see that in the movie Coco, which is what this phrase means, the blank, we can assume that because we're talking about um, movies, it would make more most sense for this word to be 
protagonista, which is like a cognate, it just means protagonist. And meaning we can also fill in this word because the protagonist in the movie, just using background knowledge, is named Miguel. So we can fill out El Protagonista Miguel. Okay, now we just have a couple more words left, just missing one or two letters. So just using context. So in the movie Coco, the protagonist Miguel, um, this just using Spanish knowledge must be busca, like to find. So we can fill out LSB, busca a Ernesta de la. Um, we're assuming that this entire word is a name. So um, a common Spanish last name is Cruz. So we can assume that K is Z. Um, fill that out. And this word right here, it is clearly this word before the lay is a verb. And a common verb that could fit here is ayudar, like to help. Um, and this one right here, something to the house. So you would return to a house, meaning volver a la casa. So I'll fill that all out and we can look at the full quote. Okay, so I filled out everything. The full quote is, En la película Coco, el protagonista Miguel busca a Ernesto de la Cruz porque espera que él sepa ayudarle a volver a casa. Um, just the English translation of this would be, in the movie Coco, the protagonist Miguel um, finds Ernesto de la Cruz because he um, hopes that he knows um, how to help him return to his house. So, I honestly did not see the answer key for this quote at all. I was solving this with you guys. So you truly got to see my exact thought process and I really hope that this helped. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. If you liked it, um, please drop a like down below and subscribe to my channel for more. Thank you, bye.